Welcome back to the Snowpoint Cast. Today we're going to be going over a deck from RS to PK called Sealed Magma. Sealed Magma revolves around Team Magma's Groudon. Uh, so yeah, let's go right into it. Starting off with four Team Magma's Groudon. It's your main attacker in the deck. Uh, Team Magma's Groudon is both fighting and dark type. So those are two pretty uh, solid weaknesses to hit in this meta. Benetti X, you hit it for dark weakness. Um, and then Drag Trode, you hit for fighting. There's a lot of stuff that's fighting weak in this format. Um, as well as some dark weak stuff. So definitely some clutch weaknesses to hit. The dual typing is kind of cool there. Uh, through Retreat, which is pretty fat. You're not really retreating this guy. Uh, weakness to Grass. The Pokebody, which is a awful po Pokebody, uh, is called Power Saver. So it says as long as the number of Pokemon and play both yours and your opponents um, that has Team Magma in its name is three or less. Team Magma's Groudon cannot attack. So this kind of sucks because it means if you start a lone Groudon, even if you start two Groudons, you're not able to uh, attack. However, you do play four Cessation Crystal, which shuts us off. And we're going to get to Cessation Crystal in just a second. Uh, but yeah, Power Saver is an awful body and you, you just play cessation to get rid of that because it's so bad uh, but yeah two really good attacks on groudon so the first one li linear attack so for a fighting and a colorless uh choose one of your opponent's pokemon this attack does 20 damage to that pokemon so pretty decent snipe for two uh especially if you get like a special dark on there you can just hit the active for 30 you know j a decent attack the linear attack the reason that it's like really good though is because it gives you that control like you can drop linear attacks 20 20 20 20 20 and then you don't like you can get knocked out and not care um, because as you're spreading your linear attacks, like eventually you get to a point where the board should turn in your favor because linear attack and pulverize have a lot of synergy with one another. So usually what I do is I put one Groudon up and then I am just attacking with linear attack with Groudon, kind of setting up the game, um, setting up my pulverizes for later. You optimally want to attack with six Magma's Groudon and you play a Pokemon Retriever. So it's definitely very possible to do that. So yeah, you drop a bunch of linear attacks and then usually the, yeah, I let that one with two energy die. And then I go into the three energy Groudon. I hopefully have one with three energy up at that point, but team Magma energy helps with that out as well. We're going to get to that in a, just a second as well. Um, but yeah, Pulverize, so for two fighting and a Cullis does 50. If the defending Pokemon already has two damage counters on it, uh, this does 50 damage plus 20 more damage. So really clutch synergy there. You can just drop linear attacks and then pulverize to kind of clean up the board. Um, really solid attack, especially if you get like a special dark or two on there, you can start swinging for some some pretty massive damage. Um, okay, so getting into the support Pokemon. So you do play a 2-1 Wooper line. This Wooper, you play a split on the Wooper just because um, one of them has an attack that is really clutch. So this one's just got more HP, uh, 50 HP, single Retreat, weakness to grass. Uh, Mudshot is the first attack for one colorless, it does 10, and then for two colorless, it does 20. Nice to have colorless attacks because you don't really, uh, probably not going to be running any. Um, well, I guess you could do fighting energy, but like the colorless attacks are just nice because you do play grass as well. Okay, speaking of grass, uh, you also play one of this Wooper. So this Wooper is the one from Dragon Frontiers. Uh, it's got a 40 HP, 10 less than the other one, um, which is kind of bad because Arcanine two shots that on the bench, which is, it is actually pretty important. Arcanine is one of the top decks in ours to PK right now. Um, so that kind of sucks, but single retreat, weakness to grass, and Amnesia is the reason you play this one. I think Amnesia is a really worthwhile inclusion for this. Um, solid attack that can be really game changing for sure. So for one colorless, choose one of the defending Pokemon's attacks. That, uh, that Pokemon can't use that attack during your opponent's next turn. So depending on the deck, I mean, forcing your opponent to um not use the attack that they want to use can be really clutch but sometimes based on the board position like if you're playing it's a radium deck and you just amnesia a radium i mean they probably will have what like a rayquaza and a and a houndoom on the bench and then they don't have they have like one option to attack you can shut off their heavy attack and then uh special circuit doesn't even kill you at that point so amnesia does have some clutch moments and that's why you play the split just because amnesia can be really good in some situations um, but the reason you play those is for the Quagsire. So Quagsire Delta species is uh, got 80 HP, a single retreat, and a weakness to grass. Uh, the Poke Power is the reason to play it. It's called Dig Up. Once during your turn, when you play Quagsire from your hand, you evolve one of your Pokemon. You may search your discard pile for up to two Pokemon tool cards, show them to your opponent, and put them into your hand. So, you know, it seems kind of counterintuitive because you're playing four cessation in this crystal or cessation crystal in this deck rather. Um, but it makes a lot of sense because usually what happens is you have a, let's say you have a Team Magma's Groudon active and you got a cessation crystal on there. Cessation crystal, it essentially shuts off all Poke Powers and Poke Bodies. So it shuts off the power saver. And usually what happens is either that gets knocked out or Windstormed. Windstorm is another big problem for this deck. Um, but Quagsire is kind of the counter to that problem. So let's say you get Windstorm. Now your power saver's back on. You can't really attack with Groudon. You just evolve into the Quagsire, use Dig Up, get that cessation crystal out of your discard, maybe even two. Two, if you had two in there um, and then you put them on back on the board and this is another reason that this deck 
is really powerful because Quagsire, you know, at first it seems like it's only got one use. It lets you uh, recover tools, obviously. But the other use that it has is it lets you play very aggressively with your cessation crystals. So usually what happens is you have like one Groudon in the active with a cessation crystal and you want to hold on to the cessation crystals in your hand just because, you know, a windstorm can come. However, there are situations where you want to attach to the one on the bench. And, you know, that seems kind of counterproductive because you don't if you get windstorm both of them get lost but with dig up being able to recover two back um it doesn't really matter if you get both windstormed i mean it depends on what the board state is like obviously if you have a lot of cessation crystals in the discard this is not the play but if you have none in the discard you can drop like two cessation crystals and then if your opponent's like ah well i don't have a windstorm but i have a warp point warp point now becomes not a real out because you can just switch into the other groudon who still has a cessation crystal and then you're chilling because uh you know they they can't just force the your one with a cessation crystal out of the active and you can play a little bit more aggressively with your tools like that and not get punished usually if you double drop cessation crystal a windstorm is going to come along and ruin your day but with dig up it lets you play those tools a little bit more aggressively which helps you retain your lock even uh, more solidly so kind of a cool use for quagsire there really cool card i like uh, quagsire delta a lot also you can use pump out you do play one grass energy um and hitting grass weakness can be important like you pump out's really clutch in the mirror you one shot uh the opposing Groudon. It can be good against stuff like, I don't know, there's just so many Pokemon in this format, like Tyranitar EX Delta. Um, that's a really clutch attack versus Tyranitar EX. But yeah, just like, it's good to be able to hit for grass weakness in this format because there's so many, so many Pokemon that are out there that you could run into. Okay, so four Cessation Crystals. So this card is the backbone of the deck. Really solid card. Honestly, really oppressive card, just, just an amazing card. So uh, Cessation cr Crystal, uh, it's got to be attached to one of your Pokemon that are not Pokemon EX. Uh, and as long as it's attached to your active Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's Pokemon can't use Poke Powers or Poke Bodies. So that's really great for you because, like I said, you shut off Power Saver, and Dig Up's not an ability that you even need to use unless you get Windstormed. So yeah, Cessation Crystal, super clutch, um, and just really oppressive against everything. Like, you shut off Blastoise, you shut off Metagross Delta, uh, you shut off Banet EX. Like, you just, you shut off a lot of the format with Cessation Crystal. And as a four of it makes a lot of sense because you you rely on it. Like, your ground on can't even attack without it. So you also play a supporter card that searches this, but we will get that, to that in just a second. So you also play four versus Seeker. Um, this is one of the counts in the deck that I'm like not 100% sure about. I think that uh, this could go down to three. I've, as I've been testing this, I've been kind of missing a second Brinies. I think a second Brinies could be really good. But four versus Seeker, it's just to keep your uh, supporter cards varied and gives you lots of options throughout the game. Um, lets you play seven Rockets Admin if you really want to do that. I mean, Rockets Admin is a really good card in this deck because like I said, you can choose to take your prizes whenever you want so you can just go like linear attack linear attack linear attack your opponent takes a prize you're like okay linear attack some more i'm not going to take any prizes yet they take another prize and then you just go with a third ground on you go like rockets admin now i'm going to start pulverizing you and i'm just going to take out everything on your board at this point after an admin to four that can be very deadly so versus seeker to to get an admin back is really clutch just a good consistency card in general though as well so this will play four energy removal two uh, energy remo removal two. Flip a coin if heads. Uh, choose an energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon and discard it. So this is just a. I don't know if it's a staple in this deck. I think it's really good, and I think that art. Like as I play Aris to PK more, I like this card more and more, just because Holland's cast form is such a such a really good consistency option for a lot of decks, and being able to take out two energy attachments with a single heads is uh, really clutch. So energy removal two has some synergy uh, with magma technical machine as well so this deck can sort of be a slow denial deck if that's what you want to there is a couple routes that you can take you can take the denial route and then switch to an aggressive route or you can just play with linear attacks and then be aggressive the whole game it kind of really depends on what uh what you want to do but energy removal helps you keep the pacing a little bit more under control some decks can get really out of hand especially if they pop off with a windstorm like a blastoise they can just uh, start rolling you but energy removal helps keep that uh a little not, not versus blastoise obviously but versus some of the matchups it helps keep those uh a little bit more mitigated those threats you also play four Team Magma's tec technical machine 01 uh so it can only be attached to Team Magma's Groudon but it gives it an attack that's actually really good. So the attack uh, is called Crushing Magma, does 10, and then you choose an energy card attached to the defending Pokemon and put that card at the bottom of your opponent's deck. So combined with energy removal, that can kind of uh, 
change the pacing of a game. If your opponent's starting starting to pop off on you, you can just go energy removal, hope for the heads, and then hit a TM, uh, Megma TM, and then you're essentially discarding two energy from your opponent's active in a single turn, um, which is, it can't even be three, like I said, if there's a Collins cast form there. So just a really good uh, tool card that lets you slow the deck down. Unfortunately, you can't get this back with Dig Up because it is a technical machine and not a Pokemon tool. Um, and you also have to discard it at the end of the, end of the turn, but... The trade-off for discard or putting one of your opponent's energies at the bottom of their deck is really good, and it, and this card can be the difference between, um, you know, keeping the pacing of the game and getting losing it and getting a little out of control. A cool play I will say with this card is, you can go like this is a really clutch play actually. So you go Team Magma Technical Machino one. You crushing Magma with a special Dark. So instead of hitting for ten, you hit for twenty because Groudon's Dark. So you hit for an additional ten damage. You hit for twenty, and then uh, you have that single energy on there. You can you can linear attack as well, or you also have the option to pulverize next turn because Magma Energy is such a powerful uh, card that this deck has the option to play. And since you did twenty. With the crushing magma it just makes pulverize that much more powerful because you're getting that damage buff as well and then with a the special dark you know you're just hitting really clutch numbers like 120 and stuff so just a a solid two of combo where you go single dark attach remove the energy uh double magma into ko that can be really really clutch um so that's one of the ways you can use this card to a lot of success this will be two pokemon retriever uh, makes sense because you only play four of your attacker and you really don't like you can't really uh, afford to like if you prize one and then you prize a retriever you're kind of just screwed if you play one but playing two it just keeps you consistent and honestly being able to recover it sometimes your opponent hits a cessation crystal with a windstorm and you can't find it but getting the grout on back so that you can have three team magma pokemon in play so that power saver is shut off can be really good as well so that's another reason po you play two Pokemon Retriever. It just keeps your Groudons in play. Um, and you want, always want to be attaching every turn to a Groudon because it's super important to hit your attaches in this deck. You also play one Balloon Berry. So this is a Pokemon tool card that can be recovered by Quagsar. Um, so Balloon Berry says attach... Uh, well, I'll actually read retriever first because i didn't read that so you get to either choose one pokemon from your discard pile put it in your hand or choose three and shuffle it into your deck so it can be clutch for shuffling multiple groudons back or just putting back one on your bench um so bloomberry yeah <clears throat> bloomberry gonna be attached to uh one of your pokemon that doesn't have a pokemon tool attached to it bloomberry is great because it just lets it gives you that free retreat option like let's say you got uh windstormed on your cessation crystal groudon um and you want to retreat to something else like you want to retreat to another groudon that has energy or you got energy removal or something um it just gives you that free retreat option and with quagsire you can just dig up the balloon berry and then have free retreat and that's a, a decent option to have as well especially on your quagsire sometimes like your opponent can just bring up a quagsire you don't really want to attach to that if you can prevent it um so being able to just get that balloon berry for free you play some supporters that search this so uh keeps you a little bit more consistent in that active spot that you want so let's play four cursed stone uh so cursed stone is a super good uh, stadium card in this deck. So anytime between turns, each player puts one damage counter on his or her Pokemon that has a Pokemon power. So, I mean, it kind of sucks if you have a Quagsire out, but you do play Mr. Brinies, and that's one of the reasons I was thinking of cutting a Versus Seeker for Brinies, because you reusing Quagsire is really good, healing Groudon is really good as well, um, and yeah, especially when you play first four Cursed Stone, it can be a little bit of a liability to just lose a prize off of a Quagsire, uh, because you do want that out versus a lot of matchups. Anyway, uh, so yeah, just being able to snipe with Cursed Stone is really good, and it just adds to the strength of Linear Attack. You know, when you're dropping Linear Attacks for 20s or 30s, um, and then in addition to Cursed Stone, that could be a lot of pressure you're putting on your opponent. Um, especially, and you know, 4 of just makes sense, keeps it consistent as a stadium. It's just a really good card in this format against a lot of Pokemon with powers. Okay, so we're gonna use some of the supporter cards. You play four of Castaway. Castaway is the best supporter card in this deck, so good. So it says search your deck for a supporter card, a Pokemon tool card, and a basic energy card. Show them to your opponent and put them into your hand. Um, so this is great because it finds you Cessation Crystal, obviously super good, but it also keeps your attachments consistent. Finding the energy is another great part about Castaway. I think Castaway is such an underrated card. I think it's such a good card, especially in this deck, but I think overall in the format, it could, uh, could see a little bit more play. It's a really solid card. Um, but yeah, being able to find that supporter is good as well because you can get stuff like Rockets and Min, or you can find your one of Briny or two of Briny if you got the versus Seeker, which I think I'm probably going to do. So if you're building this, this list, I'd probably go three versus Seeker, two Briny. Um, but you can just find your one ofs. I mean, you play a Team Magma Conspirator, which is a really cool one of in some situations. And uh, yeah, so uh, you can also just chain Castaways. Castaway for a Castaway is also really good if you're expecting your opponent to drop a Windstorm on you because you can just Castaway for another tool if your opponent decides to do that. Kind of a little bit 
a little bit uh, reminiscent of Cyrus chaining. Oh, it starts with a C2, Castaway Cyrus. You know, they, they're just the same card, essentially. But they're a little bit different, obviously. Um, but being able to search that tool, just really get a solid uh, addition to the deck, for sure. So let's play three Rockets Admin. Uh, Rockets Admin is a great card, like I said, uh, especially if you play that conservative long game route where you're just dropping linear attacks and forcing your opponent to take prizes first, and then you come back on them. Being able to drop a Rockets Admin and then uh, start... Um, uh, pulverizing start pulverizing for lots of damage can be a, a way to win the game for sure rockets them into four usually usually a tough spot for your opponent to come back from they can come back from it but uh rockets into four can be pretty pretty aggressive especially with a deck that's hitting you for like a hundred a turn with pulverize okay so you also play two steven's advice so steven's advice is another solid supporter card uh it says draw a number of cards equal to the number of your opponent's pokemon in play uh if you have seven or more cards including this one in your hand you cannot play this card so another just good draw consistency and you do play a lot of versus seekers so situationally if this card is uh, really useful you can just cast away for it and then as soon as it's in the discard that's the nice part about cast away versus seeker in this deck is you can just cast away whatever supporter you want and then as soon as it's in the discard you can just use it whenever you want as, soon as, as long as you have a versus seeker okay so you also play one of Briny's Compassion. We're going to get into some one of the one-ofs. You play a, lot, a fair amount of one-ofs in this deck just because Castaway gives you that uh, consistency option. You can play the one-ofs and be able to find them when you need to. Uh, so Briny says, choose one of your Pokemon and play, and excluding Pokemon EX, return that Pokemon and all cards attached to it to your hand. So great for conserving uh, energy on a Groudon. I mean, Groudon's got 100 HP, which is pretty beefy for a basic. So being able to, to heal up your Groudon as clutch as well uh, is good, but also being able to recover the Quagsire and dig up multiple times, that's another really solid uh, use for Mr. Briny's Compassion because you just want to lock that Cessation Crystal into play. And Mr. Briny's, uh, because dig up helps you get those back, Mr. Briny's is just, uh, it helps you with that Pokemon tool consistency a little bit as well. Let's play one Copycat. Uh, Copycat is a super solid card, but, you know, depending on the format, I think... Uh, could be better, could be worse. It's a lot better in 2004, and I think that there are better supporter cards this deck could play, but it makes a lot of sense as a one-of just because you can search it with Castaway. So Copycat says, shuffle your hand to your deck, uh, then count the number of cards in your opponent's hand and draw that many cards. So if your opponent has a massive hand, which can happen in this uh, format, especially depending on what deck you're playing, um, you just get to abuse that a little bit and get a big shuffle draw off Copycat. So simply one Hall and Mentor. Uh, just a one-of, like, like I said, so you can search it with Castaway. Hall and Mentor says... Discard a card from your hand. If you can't discard a card, you can't play this card. Search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon with 100 HP or less. Show them to your opponent and put them into your hand. So this is great for finding a Wooper and two Groudon. Like uh, if you don't have a Cessation Crystal, Hall and Mentor just lets you get the three Magmas Groudon requirement that you need. If you started a Magmas Groudon anyway. So you start one and then you Mentor for two and a Wooper. You bench the two. Um, I think it's three or four. Oh, three or less. So you actually need to find all four Groudons before you can do that. But I mean, if you started one and then you have a Wooper already, you could just get the other three with the Mentor. And then you don't need the Cessation Crystal um, to shut off Power Saver. And then you can start attacking. So that, that is a cool option with Mentor. Um, but yeah, just a solid setup card. And like I said, these all these one-ofs make a lot of sense um, with Castaway because you have that option to just search them out. So speaking of clutch one-ups, this is kind of a spicy one. I don't know if a lot of people have seen this card. Uh, so this is a pretty uncommon card. Not going to see it in a lot of decks, but this deck does utilize it because I think it's really solid. So Team Magma Conspirator says, search your deck for up to two in any combination of basic Pokemon with Team Magma in its name and basic energy cards. Show them to your opponent and put them into your hand. So the reason that you play this as a one-up is because let's say you have a castaway and all you really need next turn is another Groudon and a... Uh, energy card you want to guarantee an energy card nothing else gets that mentor guarantees the uh other grout on and you can get another castaway to guarantee another energy card but you can't guarantee the grout on and an energy card except when you have a team magma conspirator so you just search this out with your castaway and then if you just want an attachment and another grout on next turn you can just get this and that usually is a super solid option especially if you don't have a second grout on you do want that second grout on uh, especially if you're playing against a good opponent you got to be wary of that uh warp point play and if you don't have a second uh cessation crystal on your grout on sometimes they can just get their powers back for a turn and that can be really deadly if uh you let your opponent have powers back so kind of a cool card that lets you keep your Megma's ground on a little bit consistent and energy. It's kind of reminiscent of Roseanne's. It's like a worse Roseanne's, but uh, decent in this deck for sure. Let's play one of Celio's Network. So Celio's Network, uh, unless you search for your Quagsire, 
It's the only thing that lets you search for your Quagsire. But like I said, with Castaway, your one ups become a lot more consistent and versus Seekers as well. So you can just like cast away it, use it. Um, Sealer's Necrit, it can get you a uh, Team Megma's Groudon if that's what you want as well. So you play like three Pokemon search for Team Megma's Groudon, um, which is like pretty decent. You know, it's not crazy, but with versus Seeker, it, it's relatively consistent later on into the game. Okay, so getting into some of the energy counts, we're going to start off with six basic fighting so fighting energy makes a lot of sense you know Groudon needs two fighting to attack uh with pulverize um and yeah just basic energy lets you search it with castaway and magma conspirators just just solve this deck and like i said you do play that one of uh grass just so that you can attack with quicks there are some colorless uh costs on team magma's Groudon as well so good to be able to fulfill that with a grass search as well if you uh, want to save the fightings for uh, a later Groudon, for example so we'll play four magma energy. This is probably the most OP energy in this deck. It's so good. So it's two energy and it's two fighting energy. Um, unfortunately, it gets discarded at the end of the turn, but being able to take a quick pulverized knockout with this can be super clutch. Like I said, with special dark, which is the other special energy you play, um, you can be swinging for like 100 plus if you have multiple special darks attached. And that is a lot of damage coming from a basic Pokemon for sure. Uh, and magma energy, just a really solid card. Two energy for one, even, even though you have to discard it, like really, really solid card. And you also play four of darkness energy. Uh, darkness energy just lets you hit for some more damage. And like I said, you can do that cool combo with a uh, team magma technical machine. Uh, but yeah, just a damage buff makes a lot of sense. I don't know why you wouldn't want to be doing more damage in this deck. Okay, well, uh, yeah, this has been sealed magma. If you have any questions about the deck, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to them. Uh, but uh, thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.